you! Welcome to today's video where I am doing my first impressions of this notebook. First impressions are important for paper because it helps you decide whether to get one notebook or 50, right? So, <laughs> so I have one notebook to begin with. This is the Cosmo Air Light Paper Notebook. It is, I purchased it on Etsy and I will include a link below. The paper is 75 grams. This is the A5 size. It is hand bound, like hand sewn. Um, you can see that there are irregularities in the sewing or the gluing. And so, you know, it's, it's like done by someone's work and effort. Fine with me, nice thin cover, it's craft. So it's bendy, sorry, bendy, decoratable, portable for all the places that none of us are going right now during this pandemic because Ontario is on a stay at home order and lockdown. They also have A6, B6 and B6 Slim, 320 pages, opens all the way, lies flat, very nice. I have the five millimeter dot grid, but you can also get blank. Now I have some of the infos here, so I don't forget. Um, yeah, blank dot grid or a regular grid. Um, the notebook with Cosmo Air Light paper is suitable for fountain pens that shows a lot of sheen, shading, and color contrast. No bleeding with fountain pen inks. Dots are light gray, holds it very well to light watercolor, fountain pens, markers, mild liners, highlighters, brush pens, and gel pens with no bleeding, smooth writing experience and true colors that pop up very well. So hand sewn by Japanese craftsmen and, oh, sorry, it says 320 or 192 pages. So I actually don't know what I bought. Um, I'm thinking 320? No, 192? Mm, anyway. The point of me not knowing how much I bought is because it changes the price. So um, there's a whole bunch of price, prices on the website. You're looking at basically 29 Canadian and up, depending on what size you want, how many you want. Um, I don't think the prices are unreasonable. I'm okay with them. So I'll have to check my Etsy purchase and I will put the information below of what I actually purchased just so you know but um, if we were to say two a5 grids with 192 pages came up to 52 Canadian not unreasonable especially in Canadian so if that was US I'd be a little like oh <laughs> oh but it's not it's Canadian so because I'm a Canadian so here we go this is the notebook we're gonna do some first impressionings and we'll chat about it and I'll let you know what I think and then in a while I'll come back with a full review so I'll see you in a minute actually not even a minute these are my first impressions of this notebook really um, I've heard a lot about the Cosmo Air light paper and when I recently did my Galen Leather Tomoe River notebook video um, a couple of people recommended that I try out the Cosmo Air, so now I have one. And we're going to take a look at it, and I'll include a link for everything below. Okay, I usually skip the first page when it does this, when it's like so close to the, um, the cover. Alright, so important impressions. It is smooth. Um, it doesn't feel insanely smooth, which is okay. Love the rounded corners. It's got the five millimeter dot grid. It feels much like the Tomoe River 68 gram, but a little heavier because it is. It's 75. Not super see-through, not very crinkly. That's okay. I'm just going to give it a shot. Let's start with, um, let's start with something fine, quite fine. So this is the,
paper. Okay, so what we have here is a Sailor Pro Gear with the hard, medium, fine nib. And the ink is one of Sailor's Manos. I think it's like Ukisawa, maybe? I'm not really sure how to spell it. No! Yes. Ukisa no, I'm wrong. No, no. It's not that. It's something else. It is. It's one of the new Sailor Studios, one of the three new ones, like that greenish one. So, it is a Sailor. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's try out another Sailor. This one is much wetter. Um, interesting. Uh, what is this? This is a 1911. So, knowing Tomoe River paper quite well, I do know that the drying times are longer because it's quite coated. Um, I can see that this ink, which typically takes longer to dry on Tomo because it's such a wet writer is already starting to dry pretty quickly. It's not as smooth as I was expecting. Which is not a bad thing. It's just not as smooth. It has a like a bit of feedback. Um, it has a certain feeling about it that I'm trying to figure out how to describe. Almost like you're writing into a layer of the, of, of some sort of coating. Just a very light, a light setup. Um, okay, so that's not drying. I want that to see, I want to see how the sheen is going to do there. Um, with this one, I want to see shading. So I can see some light sheen on this previous ink already, which is not a super heavy sheener, but it will sheen. Um, what is this? This is burgundy. Um, Le Petit Prince Rose. Burgundy. Interesting. Such a chatty paper. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to just do a couple lines here because they tend to be really good for showing shading. So we'll let that dry for a little bit. Um, here is a super shader right here. Again, it's got that interesting feedback. Sorry, this one's a bit dried out. Let me just get it going. Okay, let's let that sit for a minute also dry in the meantime okay so this one is almost completely dry um not super heavy on the sheen but you can see it interesting usually with Tomo I expect there to be sharper contrast between the shading and then the saturated bits like on the L I would expect it more to pool just on the bottom of the L like at the end of the letter right before I lift the nib and here, it seems to be more spread across the letters. Interesting. So, it's almost like the paper is absorbing it a little more, which it might be. A little more than I expected. Um, hmm. Intriguing. 
Okay, so let's turn the page. You can see the backside. Okay, that's pretty decent. There's a little bit of show through. Totally usable on the backside, in my opinion. Um, let's get going with some extreme inkiness here. Get that. Sorry, that's been dried out sitting upright for a while. So we're going to get it going. Um. Okay, it's handling this pretty well. If I write on the edge of the plates, which are sharp, I can feel it in the page. Um, it's almost like it's a slightly cushioned paper and the edge is sharp and is like pressing into that cushion. It's kind of hard to describe, but that's the best I can do. As I said, a chatty paper. Let's let that dry for a second because then I'm going to use a bit of water to see how the paper can handle some water washings, color washings, water washing. In case you want to use, like, use it as like a art journal or something. Um, so basically, I'm just going to make an inky mess. And then uh, give it a bit of extra inking. Okay, I thought I had some ink in the cap there. I don't. Give it a bit more ink. Just to see how it does. Um, the water is actually drying pretty quickly. So it's not a super long drying time which some people prefer and if you don't like tomoe river because of its long drying time this might be an option um so yeah i want to see how this ink i mean sorry this paper does with when the water dries like to see if it warps the page significantly if it bleeds through the paper <laughs> okay so let's leave that that up. Um, should we try some flexing? Okay. So we have color small. Such an interesting feeling. Padded. That's the thing. It's padded. It feels like padded paper. If you're familiar with the Rhodia R, which is like velvety coated, it kind of has that feeling. It's like a velvet coating instead of a slicker coating. And again, pretty quickly starting to dry. Um, nice sh shading on this one. Um, let's just do a quick more. A quick, sorry, no, let me use this one. Just for fun. Um,
interesting feeling. Okay. Let's take a look at this part. So beautiful in terms of how it handles the water and spreading the color. Um, it does warp a little bit, pretty normal. Not as much as the 52 gram Tomoe River, which is what I usually use. Um, so you can see a bit of warping here, but it hasn't bled through. So it's handled the water quite well. Um, this ink is a Sailor Magno. Pretty decent shading, a little bit of sheen. Um, the Diamond Amber is still drying, but that's a crazy wet nib. But pretty stunning on the shading. Very interesting. Very, very interesting paper. So let me just do like a more extensive writing down in here. So there we go. This was the first impressions of the Cosmo Air light paper. Okay on the crinkle. Not huge, um, but very nice on the coloring. The contrast is moderate to high and the colors do pop. Not super heavy on sheen. Um, I'm gonna have to do a comparison video between this and Tomo because Tomo is usually my go-to. Um, but if you like paper that is not crinkly, but you do like fountain pen friendly, and you want drying times that are just slightly less long than Tomoe River, it's a pretty good option. I'm pretty pleased. So I'm gonna do some extensive testing in the next few weeks, then I'm gonna come back with a full-blown review that will be less chaotic than this madness, and I hope you'll stick around to see it. And you know the deal, like, subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to share with your friends or like drop a hint to your partner to be like, oh, I'd really like a notebook like this, you should send them the link. So if they're watching, you should get this for the person that sent this link to you for them. Okay, enough of me. Thank you so much for watching. And you know the deal, you can find me on the next screens if you wanna do social media. And if not, that's okay. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta for now. Au revoir. Sayonara. Goodbye. Okay,